The question reads, you are flipping three coins. What is the probability that you will get two heads and one tails? So they're asking about the theoretical proba probability that if we flip three coins, that we will get two heads and one tail. Doesn't matter the order. But the first thing that we have to notice about this problem is that the experiment is flipping three coins. Flipping three coins means that we have three steps to our experiment. Each one is flipping a coin. And the minute we have more than one step, it's usually a good idea to make a tree diagram. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make a tree diagram. Now at each step, we're flipping a coin, and the two possibilities at each step are a head and a tail. We're going to color code and make heads red and tails blue. So let's go ahead and make our tree diagram down here. So we start, and what do we get at the very beginning? Well, we can have a heads or we can have a tails. So the, for the first flip, we're going to write Roman number one, we have a heads or a tails. We have head here and tails here. And the probability of getting a head on a fair coin is one half. The probability of getting a tail on the first coin is one half. So we check, they add up to one. Good job. Okay, now we're going to the second flip. On each of these flips, we can have a head or a tail, a head or a tail. And this is how we're going to write this so we can tell these apart. This is going to be one half and another one half red because this is a head. And here we're going to write this one half for the first head and this one half here for the tail. Right. So let's complete this diagram. And we're not multiplying these out because we're not at the end. We have one more coin to flip. So here's the third coin coming up here. And at each of these steps, we can have a head or a tail. Let's just fill in the first two. So here we have one half times one half. That was two heads. And then another head coming up here. So one half. So that's one eighth. And on this one, we have one half, one half, two reds. And then we have a tail coming up on the last throw. It's still an eighth, but we can tell that we had two heads and one tail on this, on this particular set of flips. So that's going to be one of the outcomes we're looking for. Let's complete the rest of the tree diagram. And with the completed tree diagram, again we check. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, each at one eighth. So indeed we do have the required sum equal to one. Now our question is, when do we get two heads and one tails? Well, we can see that on head, head, tail, right here, we got two heads and one tail. On head, tail, heads, here we got two reds and a blue, so two heads and a tail. And another two reds and a blue is down here. Let's see what it was. Tail, head, head. So here we had head, head, tail was one of the throws. Here we had head and then a tail in the middle. And then we had, here we had tail in the beginning and two heads. What do we have? We have P of two heads and one tail is equal to the sum of these three probabilities. So we have one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth, one eighth, one eighth, and one eighth, or three eighths. And if we divide that out, we can find that that will be how much? 37 and a half percent, or in decimal, 0, 0.375. So that is the theoretical probability that if we throw three coins, we will get two heads and one tails.